Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Unlock Your Learning. In this video, we are going to solve ICC Mathematics Class 8, Chapter 20, Construction of Quadrilaterals, Exercise 20A. So this is the exercise in which we are going to be constructing quadrilaterals. And as I said before, we will be requiring any five elements of the quadrilaterals that are there. Right. So any of the five elements that are there in a quadrilateral, we know there are a total of 10 elements, 4 angles, 4 sides and your two diagonals these many things are there in your quadrilateral and out of these 10 things only and only we need any five elements elements means any of these five things you can say okay so see this time we are doing three sides and two diagonals till previous question we had learned how to do four sides and one diagonal right this time we are going to be doing three sides and two diagonals so number of sides has decreased by one and number of diagonals has increased by one now you can see it is saying construct a quadrilateral pqrs in which pq is equal to four centimeters qr is equal to three centimeters ps is equal to 2.5 centimeters pr is equal to 4.5 centimeters and your qs both of these sides are diagonals both of these things are diagonal so qs is equal to 4 centimeters so i've got the rough figure up here you can see on my left side here you can see we have pq 4 centimeters qr 3 centimeters sr or rs which you call this length is not given right so we will not draw this but in the process when we will draw our quadrilateral we will get these two points s and r right we don't know how much length they will be but we will get the two points s and r so just join them to complete your figure no problem don't check the measurement because it's not given in the question now and your uh, sp that's your 2.5 centimeters two diagonals are there too pr 4.5 centimeters and qs 4 centimeters so we'll we'll begin very easy one this one is so what you're going to do is see as i said before bring your uh, rulers here and now on the ruler we're gonna draw four centimeter right like that okay wait let me get one new ruler so that should be easy okay so this is my ruler and in this ruler we're gonna be drawing four centimeters line segment which will be your pq from one from zero and we're gonna take this to four that should be it this is done this is your pq okay p q that's it pq and this is of four centimeters you can do the labelings if you want to right now you can do them later it's up to you pq is of four centimeters in this pq now you can see i'll take the compass i'll zoom this thing a little bit or maybe just give it this much let's bring the compass here we'll keep your compass at we have to keep them at both the points one by one so you can choose any point you want to go first i'll begin with point p right like that this is point p what i'm uh, what i'm going to do see we will be drawing the two diagonals okay as well as the sides two sides uh, three sides that are there one is already drawn so only two remain so with point p we will draw one side and one diagonal see what i will draw with point p first i will draw p s then I will draw my PR, right? So your diagonals and your sides, this one and this PR. So half of this will be done. See how I will draw PS. PS, you can see PS is of 2.5 centimeters. The red pointer is showing it. So it's 2.5 centimeters. We'll keep it at point P and I'll open my compass till 2.5 centimeters. You can see the number on my compass. It's showing 3.0, 2.9, 2.8, 2.7. Like that, we'll bring it this up till 2.5, right? Here in my compass, I'm not able to do this 2.5. It's gonna be a little smaller than this, but in your compass, you should do 2.5. You can see it's coming 2.6, but below this, my compass can't go. But in your compass, you should do it accurately at 2.5, right? So we have this thing. Uh, we'll assume this 2.5 arc only, okay? Oh, wait, maybe just wait here. And this one. 
right just cut an arc here of 2.5 now open your compass up to 4.5 so you can see 4.3 4.4 and 4.5 this is done now 4.5 i have opened and this i am doing to draw the diagonal pr pr you can see is of 4.5 centimeters you can see on the red color this p 4.5 so same thing here we will open this thing and just cut the arcs this one clear now the arc has been cut now move to point q remove your compass at point q like that clear now from point q what i'm supposed to do i will draw the next diagonal that is my your uh, this uh, sq right i'll draw the sq over here that is a 4 cm right so wait over here 3.64 right let me extend this arc here just give me a second right this one here let me raise this one and this thing it's of 2.5 so like that now it's perfect you can see it's cutting it also okay so this is done we if you want you can keep the rest of the part i don't really need that so i'm going to raise the arc a little bit now the arc has been cut now again move at point q okay by mistake my arc wasn't joining so i in uh, your i just enlarged the, i just drew the arc further on this problem can happen with you also so don't worry just keep it at the point where the arc is drawn and extend the arc don't worry now this arc is uh, done and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to open this to 3 cm right this was 3.5 4 it was right 4 so i'm going to open this thing up to 3 your three centimeters like that and after that what i'm gonna do i'm gonna cut an arc like that so we have cut the arcs and just now join them right that's it so i'll bring my ruler here let me make it small now keep this ruler at point p and we will join these points that we have just got after intersection okay let me join this one here p and the arc this one that is there so we will join this also separately one by one let me do that right like this we have joined it now again at point q also keep the ruler and again join this intersection that is there or wait wait, wait. again now keep this thing at point p only don't move it now connect the diagonal also right you have to draw the diagonals you have to show the diagonals too so make sure you do that also here just like this we've got the diagonals and again join it so one diagonal one side done point p is done now keep it at point q okay and keeping this thing at point q we will again connect these two right like this it is so first here and connect it like that and now keep this thing rotate it right and uh, now at this intersection that is there we will join this to form the second diagonal that is my q s right just like that so diagonals have done and the side also i have done and let's put the labelings up here this is your S, this is your R and 4 centimeters here and 3 centimeters here and 4.5 centimeters here and your 2.5 centimeters here but don't you feel something is missing in this it's not the quadrilateral that I, we have made in the rough figure because we have not connected S and R points so we will connect them also right to make sure you connect them okay so keep this at s let's move this up little bit like that and again just join it like that so it's joined okay let me extend this a little further so this one is done and you can see sr is also joined now the figure is completed as you can see here on the screen and friends, this is all for today. If you are new to my YouTube channel, do not forget to subscribe and leave a like on this one. Till then, take good care of yourselves and bye-bye.